Ah, finally. Time to leave shelter. Can't wait to see what Avedon has to offer. Hold up, wait, just, just a second. Before you leave shelter, let me help you out. Let me show you some things. Ultima Online Outlands is not just another uh, PVM co-op dungeon crawler game, okay? There is a lot, a lot of people out there that are gonna try to trick you. They're gonna try to steal stuff straight from your backpack. Who would do that, right? There's going to be people that will try to murder you. There will be people that will try to get you to attack them, fully knowing that you stand absolutely no chance. So guys, what I want to do today is alert you of some of those things. And not only that, but give you a couple tips, eight tips actually, that are going to help prepare you for the world outside of shelter. So with that guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's do some preventative maintenance. All right, sorry thieves. Let's just get it over with. You know it's coming. Let's rip the Band-Aid off. All right, currently a locked box made from a carpenter for the low cost of eight boards will keep most thieves out. Just use that key that comes inside of the freshly crafted container and boom, it's locked. Unless they have lock picking. In that case, take it one explosive step further. Get yourself a platinum trap wire from a tinker for five ingots. Also, get a greater explosion potion from an alchemist. Now this will cost nine sulfurous ash and one bottle. Use the wire on the container and select place on the line for explosion. And boom, now your chest is trapped. Just simply drag your valuable goods into this chest without opening it. If a thief decides to double click it, dead thief. Upon getting home though, don't open it yourself. That'll blow you up, you will die. Instead, either use a dummy character to set off the trap yourself, or someone with high level remove trap and fortune armor can remove the trap for you. Another note, make sure under your razor settings, display slash counters, then counters, auto search new containers is actually unchecked, or else once again, boom, you're dead. All right, number two. To continue on with these chests, be leery if you see one in a corpse that wasn't a paragon or if a paragon has two. Sometimes players will sneakily throw a trap chest into a monster's corpse in hopes of a player not having the previously mentioned settings unchecked. Then when they pick up the box, kaboom, now they're dead. Trapped pouches are a great way to deter thieves as well for number three. Oftentimes, simply stacking them all in the corner of your bag with one holding two or more, and then one of those holding your loot is a good enough deterrent. It's difficult to dig around under multiple trapped pouches and check all of them when they're all bunched up in the same little area. Number four, also you should keep these trapped pouches, which are available at a mage shop for 25 gold per in case of a gank where mages are, usually, are trying to paralyze you. Opening these or creating a macro for bracket pouch will do one damage to you, breaking the paralyze and enabling you to continue running away to safety. Number five is a lot of thieves are actually lazy, still wearing the same clothes they were given upon character creation. Maybe they throw in some leather armor. Typically though, they're easily spotted and look as so. Be sure and keep an eye on them. Also, oftentimes these are the ill-prepared ones. No rope, no reflect, and no potions. If you're the PvP type, these are oftentimes easily killable. However, do keep in mind though, that if you're a mage and you don't have wrestling, they could very simply, as long as they have GM fencing or, or whatever weapon skill, pull out just a really crappy weapon and just keep you interrupted and you'll probably not stand a chance without any wrestling. Number six, here's a lifesaver. Bracket, prevent criminal looting. You may be fighting a monster and then someone come up and nuke it down thus gaining looting rights. This command will actually prevent you from looting the creature and accidentally going gray, thus giving the others free reign to attack and murder you. I often turn these on and off as situations occur that deem me necessary to loot and or go gray. Number seven, did you just kill something and someone come up and loot your kill? If they are just standing there gray and looking at you, they're probably baiting you into attacking them. Be very careful engaging in PvP combat with them as they may be equipped and ready for easy prey such as a glass cannon PVM build to attack them. 
Then, as you attack them, they unleash the full power of their PvP template. Then that 800 gold that they just looted could potentially turn into looting your entire corpse. Number eight, this one's a good one. If you just got PK'd in a dungeon or possibly evaded from reds in a dungeon, get your restock ready, grab a drink, use the restroom, head right back to that exact same dungeon. So typically PKs run through a dungeon and move on to the next dungeon. So going to another dungeon, it actually gives you a chance of running right into those same guys that just killed you or you ran from. Whereas if you go right back to the dungeon that you just encountered them at, it gives you a chance of now farming in a recently cleared dungeon free of any other players to farm all by yourself. Guys, I hope this video was very insightful and helpful for you as you break out of shelter and go out into the world. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure and like this video as it helps with discoverability for myself and UO Outlands in general. Also, shout out to the channel members, the Patreons, and the subscribers. If you guys want more tips over how to avoid reds and murderers and things like that, check out this video right here where I went over that. It is a little bit older, but it's still very prevalent today. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Lone Star Gaming out.